Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Age of Mythology Retold. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to optimize your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end we're going to go inside of the game. I'm going to show you which parameter are, will provide you the most of your FPS. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to disactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just disactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture. Capture. Make sure that everything is disactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then uh, with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to disactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to disactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, the display mode, you don't have a lot of options. So I recommend just go with borderless. Make sure that you have your native resolution over there with your monitor. 
After that, for the frame rate limit, you have a slider. That's a bit weird. Your luck at 144. Uh, maybe something uh, about uh, the engine. So I recommend to just go with the maximum to have the lowest input lag possible. Of course, uh, if you're playing on a laptop and you have some thermal issue, don't go too crazy with your FPS. So for example, if you have like a 60 Hertz monitor, uh, maybe lock your FPS at 60 uh, because you're, you're going to struggle with stuttering. Uh, for the V-Sync, I never use V-Sync. So uh, the, the goal here is to have the lowest input lag. You can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync from Radian. And uh, to make sure that you don't have those tiering lines, they, they're going to synchronize your GPU with your monitor. So that can be an option. After that, in the quality section, you have the first two one, honestly, uh, if you have 6 gig and more VRAM, go with i and 16x. If you have 4 gig, go with 8x and medium. And if you have less than 4 gig, go with low and something like 4x or trillionaire. For the Terran quality, water quality, and foliage quality, uh, those one, but first of all, the two one over there, are going to go with medium, just 1% difference. Um, and your FPS. After that, when you go to I, you're going to lose 2% and another 3% at mythical. So medium is a good balance for those two settings. Foliage, I recommend to go with minimal. Uh, you're going to have like a 1% impact and you will still have foliage in your game. So that's that's pretty good, honestly. Uh, uh, when you're using full, you're going to lose 4%. So that's why I recommend to go with minimal. After that, those settings are pretty huge. Shadow quality, if you compare Ray Trace Mythical at off, you can expect 20 to 25% boost in your FPS. It's pretty huge, honestly, and you don't really care about shadow quality in this game. So my recommendation is go with off. You're going to get a lot of performance. Also, for the dynamic reflection, it's tanking your FPS in this game. So I recommend to go with none. And ambient inclusion also go with off another 7% boost in your FPS. So you will see that your game will change a lot for your performance with those three settings. Effect quality, I recommend to go with low. You just have two options. And honestly, when you a lot of stuff going on, when you do 3v3, 4v4, uh, you can drop like crazy uh, with the effect quality. So my recommendation is go with low. After that, uh, those three options, uncheck them. Uh, this one, it's more a question of preference. It affects a little bit the FPS, but it's not that bad. Post-processing, this one is huge. You have a couple of options. TA in this game looks very blurry. I don't recommend to using it. FXAA, you know, it's FXAA. It's a very old technique. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of FSR2, but honestly, the best option in this game, it's FSR2. Uh, I think it's the first time I say that in my life. I hope they're going to push like some DLSS for... Uh, Nvidia user and maybe FSR3, something like that. But anyway, I recommend to use FSR2 at quality. Don't go balanced performance or ultra performance. At quality, you can expect a nine, like eight to nine percent boost in your FPS. And uh the, the the quality is kind of good, honestly. It's not that bad. Make sure that you're using the sharpening over there. I uh, it's at 50% by default. Me, I have to use 70 to make sure that it's the game doesn't look blurry. So if the, the game looks blurry, go higher. If the game looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower. So just adjust your sharpening. No effect on your FPS. It's just a question of like the sharpening of your image. Last one is your uh, bloom. Make sure this one is unchecked. So that's pretty much it for Age of Mythology Retold. Honestly, the game is running well. I saw a couple of bugs that I hope they're going to fix, but it's not that bad, honestly. So uh, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.